If you're watching this video, you probably ran into an issue with your QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Online Payroll, where for some reason you have a new account that's been created and all your payroll checks, everything else, are being populated into the wrong account, making it to where you can't close out your bank feeds and match the transactions. Well, during this video, I'm gonna show you the proper settings you must go through if you need to update your payroll bank account, and then also how to take those transactions that were pushed into the wrong area to correct it so you can reconcile the accounts and make sure you don't misstate your expenses. Hi, I'm Matthew Fulton with Parkway Business Solutions and QB Community Live, the Facebook group. During today's video, what we're going to be talking about is very specifically with QuickBooks Online Payroll. If you ever have a situation where you need to change the bank account that your payroll is actually being funded from, there are certain settings you must change inside QuickBooks Online to make sure, one, they know which account to pull the funds from, but then two, and this is the one that everybody always misses, which account to actually record all the transactions in and the funds from. So you're probably wondering what would cause this to actually happen. There's a couple different things that could occur. One could be if you, if you actually just changed your banks, you may forget that you have to update the bank account in QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Online Payroll to make that transition. The other one could also be that if you are one of the people who have gone through different bank mergers, what we've seen happen there is a new bank will set up a new bank account for you. They'll still honor payments and everything else through, but what ends up happening is when the new bank feed's connected and the transactions are coming through, you won't be pushing the payroll checks and the payroll tax payments into that same bank account inside QuickBooks Online. So now they, they don't match and you could possibly be duplicating your payroll expense by taking the amounts that you know were for checks and just putting it to like payroll wages. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you what we're talking about. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go up to the top right gear icon here and you're gonna go into your payroll settings. Once you've pulled this up, what you'll do is you're gonna end up scrolling all the way to the very, very bottom. And at the bottom, you're gonna see your bank accounts listed and you're going to want to click on the, the pencil icon to be able to update these details. Now, when you do this, you need to basically have the, uh, the prince, payroll principal officer, have them available to have them make this update because they need to be able to verify who they are, so forth, to do the security token, everything that you need. So you'll need some assistance on that part for sure. And then the second part is the important part, the accounting mapping. On this accounting mapping, when you click into this, this is where you're going to see all the different mappings of where everything for your payroll goes to. So this here, if this is not changed on this portion, this is what's actually causing the transaction information to go to the wrong bank account. So you'll need to click on the pencil icon and then you would come in and you're gonna choose the appropriate account that you need. So in our situation, we still had everything previously going to this wrong account here. So we have a whole bunch of different payroll uh, checks and tax payments that have gone to the wrong account. And then what that caused was it caused us to have duplication of expenses inside the books. So how do you get this information from one back over to the other, especially if you don't, if you've already gone in and you've accepted transactions through the bank feed in the good account. So for example, we'll take a look at one of the payroll items here. If we looked at something like this one uh, listed on here, you're gonna see this little box is telling us, hey, this has come through a bank feed, right? And it's telling an amount uh, that's come through. Now the challenge is, this normally when it's coming through would just be showing to like a wages account. In your other account, your old one, that's where a direct deposit has come through and the breakdown of every paycheck is already listed on there. So you want this to be the one that you're actually matching to and that you keep. So the best way to go about this is I would always have two screens up. On one screen, I'll pull up one register. On the other screen, I have my primary register. And you're gonna go in and click onto one of the existing paychecks. You're gonna make sure it's in the other one. I would edit this transaction. And you're gonna come in, and I always believe in putting extra notes. So I put on here, 
transaction was moved over to the new account to match against the paycheck that was processed under the wrong account with a little bit of initials. I'm gonna put it into two places. And then all I'm gonna do is on this one, I'm gonna move it over to that old account, the one that the right one's in. Now the reason we're doing it this way, what this is gonna do for us is once this gets saved in, this is what creates that back and forth in and out that you're seeing to where you're basically spending back down that account to, re to eliminate the need, basically it should zero out is what I'm trying to get to. So once that has been done and you've handled that for all of the different paychecks and the taxes, the next thing you want to do is pull up a profit and loss report and a balance sheet to make sure, you know, and I recommend doing it by months over a period of time to make sure all of your expenses look pretty even and consistent. Your balance sheet, you're going to be checking your payroll liabilities account to make sure you don't have any major um, variances that shouldn't be there. Usually, if you have a duplication of uh, payroll liability being paid, it means your, your liabilities are going to go into the negative. So by going through doing this, you have to change them one at a time, but it shouldn't take too much time. This is going to be able to go match it. It's going to take it away from that extra expense that's being overstated. You're basically just pushing it in to clear it to the other one, and you'll be able to get all of your reporting and everything handled correct. From that point, as long as you have the right account selected, now your payroll is going to be able to match up like it used to as the bank fee transactions come in. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If you did, do me a favor and in the comments below, let me know. If you have additional questions, you can put those down there as well. And then most importantly, of course, if you haven't already, I'd love to ask you to take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified anytime new videos are coming out. And as always, here's wishing you all a very successful week.